Hello, 8th grade students. You can find these notes attached in a link on the week three science learning agenda. So if you want to reference these notes throughout the week with anything that you do, you can access all of these notes through the link. But I'm going to go through it and I'm going to demonstrate as best I can. So electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic wave energy is made up of electric and magnetic fields that vibrate at right angles to each other. Uh, they're measured by wavelength, energy, and frequency. They also are separated and there's different electromagnetic waves on the spectrum based upon their wavelength, energy, and frequency. I'll demonstrate that right now. Okay, so I don't have a slinky. I wish I had a slinky at home, but I'm going to use my ugliest tie Ew. Um, to demonstrate wavelength, energy, and frequency. It's just like sound waves and stuff like that, except for electromagnetic waves measure different things. So a long wavelength would be a really slow moving long wave like this, where a short wavelength would be like, where you get a lot of waves going at some specific time. So a short wavelength or short frequency would be the really quick wave, where a long wave would be the wave that goes slower and has a much longer up and down pattern. So as we said, electromagnetic waves are measured in three things, wavelength, energy, and frequency. When there's more energy, when there's more energy, the wavelength is much sharper. When there's less energy, they're much longer. Different types of electromagnetic waves come based upon their wavelength, energy, and frequency. So our first type of electromagnetic wave is going to be radio waves. Radio waves have the lowest frequency. They have the longest wavelengths. So there's many different things that we get because of radio waves. We get AM radio, FM radio, TV, not cable, because cable comes from a cord. The old style TV that comes off of like your antenna or the rabbit ears that people used to have. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ask your parents. Um, a radar, so like a police radar, is used um, or uses radio waves. It bounces radio waves off of a car and then back to the gun and off of the car and back to the gun to judge its speed. Microwaves are easily absorbed. Um, that's why a microwave is really well used for um, making things warm because it injects your food with radio waves to make water molecules move faster, which then causes friction, which then causes heat in your food. Um, that's why also, though, if you overuse your microwave on a piece of food, it will get really, really dry. So let's do some examples of radio waves. Mr. Allen's lunch, I love hot dogs, are going to be brought to you via microwaves, which are a type of radio wave. Woohoo! Can't wait to eat. Radio waves also bring in Mr. Allen some jams. God, I love country music. <laughs> Infrared waves are measured, or no. <clears throat> Infrared waves are heat. So everything that gives off heat is actually giving off infrared waves. You feel infrared waves from the sun. Um, they're given off by hot objects. They're absorbed by cool objects. They're reflected by light objects absorbed by dark objects. So what does that mean? Um, well, obviously it's, it's given off by hot objects. So for instance, if I take my cup here and I light my cup on fire, woo. Oh, infrared waves, woo, I got a little heat. So as the heat is rising from my cup, the heat is going from the fire or the flame to my hand. My hand is cooler than the fire, so my hand is absorbing the heat. Cool objects absorb the heat to try to get it warm. Um, then um, it's reflected by light objects. So that just means basically if you're wearing a white shirt, you're going to have heat being reflected off of that white shirt, um, absorbed by dark objects. If you're wearing a darker colored shirt, it is going to absorb that heat and it's going to take it in. So that's infrared waves. 
Visible light is a very narrow or short band of frequencies that are seen by the human eye. Red is the longest wavelength, violet is the shortest wavelength. So um, if you can see, like on a CD, people, this is a compact disc, if you don't even know what this is. Um, this is how you used to, or we used to get music. Mr. Allen used to go to Walmart and spend $9 on these and for like one good song. Now I just download MP3s. Yippee! But you can see like you got a rainbow on the back of the CD. Um, purple can sometimes be the hardest color to pick up on um, a rainbow that you see outside because it's got the shortest band of frequency or it's got that that shortest wavelength. Um, red is very close to infrared. It's got the longest wavelength. Um, that's visible light. Then we have ultraviolet waves. Ultraviolet waves are just above that visible spectrum. It's literally right above purple. Um, they're called UV lights. Um, they cause sunburn and then black light actually is going to produce UV rays. So when you have a, or when you see a black light, it's going to produce UV rays. You could technically get sunburn from a very intense black light if you were there um, for a long period of time. So that is ultraviolet waves. Thank you for sunburn. Uh, X-rays. X-rays are easily going to pass through skin, but not bones. Bones are much more dense than skin, so X-rays are going to easily pass through it, but then that's why they use it to create an X-ray. Um, and then too much exposure to X-rays can actually kill living cells. So you, you can only have a certain amount of X-rays in a year. Um, and a cool X-ray that I found is like this one. Whoa! Could you imagine that doctor's appointment? Like, wow. Um, sir, did you know that you have a nail in your hand? <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so, x-rays. Um, if you ever broke a bone or thought you broke a bone, you got an x-ray. And the last one is gamma rays. Gamma rays have a very high frequency. They're extremely dangerous to humans. Um, they are used in the medical field. Um, sometimes like a CT scanner will, will inject gamma rays, um, to get like brainwave measurements, but in a very small dosage. So they're not like life threatening. Um, gamma rays are also used to sterilize equipment in the medical field because they're, um, I guess good at sterilization. Um, gamma rays are also given off when SARS explode and, um, stuff like that. So there it is people. That is the electromagnetic spectrum. Again, you can access these notes um, within your week three instructions, and they are there for you to access and, and help you out as you go. I hope everybody is safe and well, and we will talk to you soon. This video was brought to you by Mr. Allen's Painting Abilities. It might not look good, but at least it's got glitter.